Hey, what's up you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another unboxing video. It has been a while since I've done an unboxing video. It's been a while since I've actually been in this room. Uh, I'm going to open up some big boxes over here from Biggity Big Bad Toy Store. If you're trying to get your action figures, you can do so over at BBTS. Link in the description below. I have been really busy with the Street Humans Undercover Aliens project. I think I want to go with that subtitle of Undercover Aliens so that you guys get the idea that they are aliens in disguise. Well, Undercover Aliens. So the launch for the Kickstarter is tomorrow, Thursday, October 7th. I am just thrilled about it. Uh, your guys' response has been more positive than I was expecting, and that makes me feel very hopeful. I'm really excited about it. I'm asking for 35 bucks a piece. That's going to be the cheapest I can ask for these things. If the Kickstarter fails, I'm going to try again, and unfortunately, if it fails, I will have to ask for a different price point on those figures because uh, the, 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 the cost behind all of this, the funding backer goal is fairly high and I'm going with kind of like the Has HasLab method with, with what they did with Galactus. By the way, big thanks full counter, by the way. And um, yeah, so I'm figuring since they're army builders, got to try and make the price as low as possible. 35 bucks sounds like a lot. Well, we got a $32 Captain America now, but 35 I think is the best I could possibly do on the deluxe figure with all the accessories and stuff. And uh, if it gets back, maybe I'll have other options available. We will see, but hopefully you guys are into the four pack. You guys seem to be into the four pack idea. I got a lot of positive responses on that when I hosted the poll recently, so I appreciate you guys. But enough blabbing away on street humans. I'm nervous as hell about it. It's been racking my brain like crazy. Uh, this here is something that I bought, I believe, from the Hasbro Pulse, uh, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Ah, dang it. I, I do a bad job of keeping track of the stuff I order from from that site and I'm still kind of happy to have this but we got the movie Snake Eyes right here and at first I wanted it but then like you know I don't know after after a minute I was like ah, I don't know how bad I want it anymore and then now that I have it in hand it does look really cool. So I don't know, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to get any of the other ones, but it's a cool looking snake, guys. I'm probably going to keep it. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. I might sell it. I'm not sure, but yeah, looks pretty dope. I'll put this aside right over here. And then I have this other box right now, which I think is from Hasbro. Uh, let's see. I can't remember, but this is a fairly large box right here. One of these boxes is actually kind of a birthday gift to myself. I had my 40th birthday a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh yes, all right, here we go. Big thanks to Hasbro. This is part of their uh, Plasma Series campaign. I bought all of the Plasma Series figures, and uh, these right here I did not pay for. Thank you, Hasbro, for sending them my way. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, the new Plasma Series figures for the upcoming Ghostbusters movie. So... Very interested in that. That looks like it's going to be a much cooler remake. We will see. Um, I didn't like, you know, the last one, of course. Oh, man. Ernie Hudson right here. This is so sick. I got to meet him at a, a Mexico City Unboxing Con. So I say Ernie Hudson or Eddie Hudson. I think I said the right name. And then, oh, sweet. Wow. Cool. Bankman and Ray Stance right here. We have Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. In their older years and then you need all five for the build a ghost so I do have all five right here right the two oh no wait there's a oh six you need six there's a lucky figure that I'm missing here let's see if there's a lucky figure inside and no lucky figure inside and then you can see that we have the Slimer that looks pretty cool do that love Slimer and then we have, uh, oh yes, the Ecto-1, uh, which I was actually interested in. So I wanted to see how this came out. Curious about that. And then uh, lastly, we have, uh, oh yeah, this this monster thing. I, I like these little monster gimmicky toy things. Uh, I think this is kind of neat. It reminds me of the, the real Ghostbusters toys from back in the day. I was a big fan of those. I really liked those a lot. I actually think, think I still have a couple. So... I know, it's kind of silly, but like, yeah, toys like this right here, 
there, there's a fun factor there for me. So, yeah. By the way, speaking of fun factor, I want to give a big shout out to an old friend of mine, JRA Nightmare. Um, JRA Nightmare introduced me to Dave Bonner many, many years ago. And I just want to say thank you, bro. And I, I appreciate you making that meeting possible and everything. Dave Bonner is helping me and, and consulting me throughout the process of making the Street Humans. I've never made an action figure line before, but he has made many. So with his help, this is all coming together and it has just been an amazing adventure. And I lost my, my knife. Where is my knife? I guess I'm gonna have to cut it with my man hand strength. All right, so again, big thanks, Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, some of this stuff, uh, you know, we get through store credit, some of it. <sighs> Uh, some of it I, I pay for myself, some of it is through the store credit and everything, you know what I mean? Hashtag sponsored as hell. And let's get this thing open. And here we go, alright. These are the more recent figures. We have the new Spider-Man 2099. Redone. And he comes with fisted hands and wall crawling hands, and the paint apps look fairly clean to me. I really like the retro card figures, man. Very, very neat. So stoked about that. And then, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, man. God, I've been wanting this for so long. I love Hush. Love that storyline. I think it's a very cool character. Heck, yes. Hell yes. So stoked about that. Yeah, and then Rekgar! Awesome! I don't know why I'm so... I, because I still have my G1 Rekgar, and that toy always confused the hell out of me when I was a kid, because I think I'd lost some pieces from it early on. But yeah, Rekgar over here. Stoked to have Rekgar. I might need to get a second one. You gotta have Rekgar on another Junkie on, right? And then we have an SH Figure Arts figure right here. Ah, oh, here it is. Found it. I always put it to my right. should remember that. Let's go ahead and open up the mailer. And by the way, if you're interested in the full counter goodies, I'll do a shout out and, you know, support everybody else's endeavors and stuff. Link in the description below. And, ooh, fart box. Nice. Oh, Hit. Yeah, this is one of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball Super. I loved Hit. Hit was awesome. And I loved how he came back and everything towards the end and stuff. But yeah, Hit is incredible. Had to get Hit. Man. Very, very good good looking figure. I was looking at this effect piece right here, like, ooh, that looks awesome. And then lastly, we have the Bodhi Rook Star Wars Black Series figure. When was the last time you saw me get a Star Wars Black Series figure? It's been a little while, but yeah, happy to get a Bodhi Rook. That is looking very, very cool. So stoked about that. Finally get to complete the Rogue One figure setup. And then we have this monstrous box from BBTS. Again, this is something that I've saved up for a while, um, for a long time actually, and it's a very large box right here, and then after I got it, I actually had it in the living room for a while, and Mila Miss Prime drew all over it and stuff, and then I was carrying it over here, and I set it down to see a spider about that big dra dragging uh, a maggot. I've never seen a maggot in my house before, okay? That's not like a thing, but what the hell? And a spider about that big dragging a maggot. I was like, oh man, brutal! Nature is metal. All right, here we go, you guys. Let's get this thing cracked open. Holy crap, what a huge box. Charlita One thought this was actually the HasLab Sentinel, but it actually arrived like long before the HasLab Sentinel actually arrived. That's how long it's been around here, so. I'm finally treating myself to this thing, getting ready to take a little break and enjoy the figures. You know what I mean, man? I've been hustling on the videos, hustling on the street humans, and I feel like if I give myself a little time, um, you know, time enjoying the hobby without the stress of getting all this work done, um, it'll be good for the soul because I can't lose sight of, the, of having fun with this stuff. You know what I mean? All right, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, sorry, you can't see. Actually, only three things in here. Okay, oh, yes! Oh, this looks so sick! We got the Mythic Legions. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know what this character's name is, but I did get the horse 
the the red and yellow horse to go with him uh, as well as a regular horse and this looks sick as hell very excited for it i don't remember its name but i love batwing characters and the flaming sword and all that stuff just looks badass four horsemen they just crush it so i cannot wait to open this thing finally uh, I'll do a, a whole review on these because, my god, they look so freaking awesome. Jeez, they look so freaking awesome. Shoutouts to uh, the Four Horsemen for being the first ones to do uh, action figure Kickstarters. You know, that's that's them. That they, they, they made that. They made that thing. They did it first, and it's one of those things where, you know, people are making things possible. It's like it makes it possible for other people to do it, and I just want to respect and... A little homage to the four horsemen for that and congratulate them once again for just being not just incredible guys but dude their their company is just badass like the fact that they've been able to just go freestyle or, or freestyle you know freelance you know on their own doing their own thing it's very inspiring for sure but this right here God, I've been wanting to get my hands on this figure for a minute now. We have the anti-ox suit Spider-Man. Oh my God, this looks so sick. I need to catch up on the Hot Toys reviews. Um, but, you know, it's it, they're so time-consuming to make. And it's not the most desired video from the majority of my viewers. But, man, this looks really cool. Doesn't mean I don't want to collect them. And I do get choosier about them, but um, this is, you know, this was like a treat yourself box right over here. Because, like, none of this stuff you guys really care that much to see reviewed. This is, like, really for me. This is, like, a birthday gift for myself that I saved up for. And then, last but not least, we have the Sideshow Collectibles Fairy Tale Fantasies Cinderella statue. I'm thinking about doing a video on all of, uh, on all four of the statues. Um, because they are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Uh, shout out to Comic and Figure Addicts for really getting me hooked on these. Um, damn you, Juan. He just gave us a... Gave Charlie the one a nice gift of the J. Scott, Cam uh, the J. Scott Campbell calendar. And when these were announced and everything, I was just so sold on them. I just absolutely loved it. I mean, J. Scott Campbell is incredible. But holy crap, you guys. Look at this. I'm not going to take the statue out of the box right now. But you can see how dope this looks and everything. Wow. Ooh, just a little, give myself a little slice at the corner of the box. But yeah, just took a little piece of skin off. But you can't really see a whole lot. It's just, <laughs> it's just the statue inside there. I don't know if I'm going to actually take it out of the box right now. I'm not going to. I don't have the room. If I try to do that, I'm going to knock something over. But um, if I'm editing this, I'm going to show you the sample images so you get an idea of what it looks like of what I'm actually showing you guys right here. You know what I mean? So you're not just looking at the top half. But God, his artwork is gorgeous. And the statue is going to be unbelievably beautiful as well. 167 out of 3,500. All right. So 3,500 made. Um, yeah, man. So that's it, you guys. Um, thank you guys so much in advance, uh, for supporting, uh, the Street Humans Project coming up tomorrow. Again, it goes live. Um, if it's not your thing, I've heard, I've read some comments where people, uh, were very supportive, even though that they're saying, ah, it's not for me, but like, I really wish you the best. Like, I want to say thank you to, to those of you who have said that as well, but, um, but hopefully, uh, for those of you that want to back the project, I hope you back the project. Wish me luck on this thing. It is scary as hell on my end, but you know, I'm clenching and hoping for the best. And if it's not meant to be, man, it's not meant to be. I would be more upset if I never tried. So gotta at least go for it. And if it doesn't happen, it wasn't meant to be. That's it. Try again. Do something different. We will see, won't we? All right. Thanks again so much. And I'll catch you later. Peace! Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.